Hi, this is Dan with QT Equipment. Wanted to bring you a quick video with some tips on specking chassis. Today we're looking at a brand new Kenworth that has the batteries temporarily mounted to a piece of plywood. This may work in other applications, but if you're building a service truck, this is not the way to go. When we build a chassis spec for a service truck, one of the things that we have to have is what we call clean CA. CA stands for cab to axle, which is the measurement from the back of the cab to the center of the rear axle. And this needs to be clean so that the side packs can hang over top of the frame rail. If you have a def tank sticking out the back, if you have batteries temporarily mounted onto the frame, if you've got an air dryer hanging off the side, that's all gonna need to get moved and impact our ability to build your truck. In this case, the batteries on the frame temporarily here, when we typically spec a chassis, we're gonna have the batteries mounted underneath the passenger seat in a sealed compartment. Works out great, you don't need to take up compartment space. And in this situation, we're gonna make it work somehow we're gonna find a spot inside the compartments to move these, but it's gonna be extra time and material on that. And then most importantly, for the tech that's working out of this truck, you can never have enough compartment space. And in this case, we're gonna to have to burn up some compartment space for these batteries. When you're working with a chassis dealer, they may be very good at their chassis, but if they don't have experience specking out chassis for service trucks, things like this can happen. Our sales team is very good at helping you through all this. If you have questions specking a chassis for a service truck, happy to help. You can find us on Instagram at QT Equipment, Facebook QT Equipment, or our website QTEquipment.com. Work dirty, be happy. Until next time.